Hello, welcome back, Steve. Time of corner. Do it for all the loved ones in your life. That was an old uh, tagline, like uh, from a commercial. It was on TV here back when I was a kid. Why I remember it, I ain't got no idea. I just do. <laughs> it was some kind of um, public service announcement for health, you know, taking care of yourself. It was about uh, high blood pressure being a silent killer. It was reminding people to uh, take their medicine every day, no matter whether they felt good or not, you know. Uh, telling them to get a little bit of exercise and uh, reminding them to you know, pay attention to what it was they were eating. And then at the end it went, uh, if you won't do it for yourself, do it for all the loved ones in your life. Something like that, anyway, is kind of the gist of the commercial. And that's kind of the way I look at my health in retirement. You know, it's not so much the benefits I get from it, it's that everything I do affects the baby. You know, and I kind of owe it to her to pay a little bit more attention to my health and be smart with my decisions. You know what I mean? I figure if it, you know, if it takes me going down every morning and taking a, taking a little stroll down at the park, you know, working out for 20 and 30 minutes every other day or so, or even just making a good, smart decision, not doing more, no more cartwheels, <laughs> or getting on the roof anymore to clean them gutters, man. You know, it's not because I can't do it, it's because, you know, it's just not a smart decision for me to make at my age. <laughs> so... You know, that's I think that's a small price to pay, pay to relieve her of some stress or burden later on in life. You know what I mean? It's um, you know, it's not that I'm trying to be no Mr. Olympia or anything, or win the uh, Olympic decathlon. You know, I'm just trying to push off all the time as long as I can and try to stay as healthy as I can so I can be of any help to her that that I can be you know it's hard to do anything to help her if and uh you know I can't get around myself you know and it's not just her I mean she's fine and she's perfectly capable of doing anything she she wants by herself but you know a little bit of help goes a long way sometimes you know what I mean but, it, you know, it's not just her, but, I mean, I got my little ladies to think about. I got mama, you know. And, I mean, and they're full grown too, man. Trust me, they can take care of their daggone themselves. You know, I, but, you know, I, I kind of think it might bring them a little comfort knowing that, hey, man, I'm just a phone call away. And if I'm not able to do, because I let my health go bad, you know, that kind of takes that little bit of comfort away from them, man. You know? I won't be able to give them a hand if needed. I don't know, man. It's kind of a weird way to look at it, but that's, you know, that's the way I, uh, I approach it. And it kind of uh, gives me an extra kick in the pants whenever I, you know, want to slack off a little bit and not take a walk or do my morning push-ups or whatever, you know? It gives me extra little piece of motivation to go ahead and keep at it. Because not only do I reap the benefits, but everybody else around me reaps it. You know. And if I didn't do it, not only would I suffer the consequences, everybody around me would suffer the consequences also. I don't know, man. It's odd, but it's worked for me. It's kept me to be uh, going on my... um my exercise routine it's kept me trying trying and I, I highly highlight trying because I'm the world's worst at eating right but uh, you know it's a work in progress it's not something you can do overnight I've been working for two years at least on it yeah, I'll never get there heck man I had a hot dog and fries for lunch we're gonna have biscuits and gravy tonight for dinner <laughs> I'm hoping to get a couple fried eggs too we'll see so I, nah. but uh, you know, paying attention to that, paying attention to uh, keep going, to get my daggone uh, 
yearly checkups, you know. And this is October, so I always go get a daggone uh, flu shot, you know. Pay attention to my screening tests when they come due, stuff like that. You know, just making good decisions on on the activities I decide to do. You know, it not only helps me, but it helps everybody around me. Just like your retirement, and that only affects you, but it affects everybody around you that you that you deal with on a day to day basis. I don't know, man, but that's what I was thinking about. Uh, I mean, it don't hurt to keep it in mind, man. You know, do it for everybody, all of the loved ones in your life. <laughs> that kind of uh, I'm gonna call that uh, words of wisdom from a factory flunky. <laughs> That tickles me. <laughs> hey, man, y'all take care of yourselves, man. You enjoy the weekend the best you can. Get out and do something enjoyable, man. And we'll talk to y'all later.